of the clock in the four core. Thank you. Number three pump isn't working. Use number four and put that cigarette out. What are you trying to do? Blow us all up? <laughs> Give it a rest, will you? It may be a novelty to you, but I've been on that thing all day. I don't fancy a recital of a cashier's phrase book. Sorry, Taylor. Got carried away. Yeah. Well. Gives you a feeling of power, that, don't you think? Makes people listen. Don't you believe it. Half the prats we do, we wouldn't hear Hitler at full volume. <laughs> Here, when are you going to jack this job in and give me a go? When you find me a better one. And talking of prats. Oh, a bit dark out there. Alcohol has that effect. A couple of pints. If you've had a couple of pints and what I smell on your breath, I'm surprised you got her at all. Never mind 20 minutes late. Oh, I had a scotch last round. Thinking of you, that was, Tucker. I'm supposed to be touched by that, am I? If you'd have thought of me second last round, you'd have been here on time. Besides which, that's two hours I've done for you this week. How do you work that? Simple addition. Two hours that should go on my timesheet, not yours. I'll buy you a pint and make up for it. One? Half a dozen would be nearer the mark, and I'd rather have the cash. Oh, please, Tucker. I'm already a tenner bound in this thing here. Hey? Takings were short on Thursday. Say, who? What do you think? Any show me it's all right, I'll prove it. Second time that's happened. Third? At least. Happened to me and all last week. It's this thing. You can't be adding up right. In your case, I'm not surprised. You've got to press the right button, Jenna. Oh, come on, Tucker. Come on. Do you reckon he's on the fiddle, then? <laughs> it sure was his first name's nearer. I remember a lot of it all. Being done. On hearing him, I'd say it's quite likely. You still want the job? Yeah. Well, you can't have it. Masochist. Hey, I see he bought his bedtime reading. Notice it's sticking out of his top pocket. <laughs> Bit better than that O level stuff of yours. How do you know? You ever read Jane Austen? No. Nah. Good, is she? Hot stuff. Hot? Why do you think I wear these things? I'll tell you something. She could teach that Harold Robbins a thing or two. She was still alive. You little swat. <laughs> anyway, on his alcohol intake, that's about all he can probably do. Read about sex. <laughs> Which way are you going? Oh, well, uh, same as you. No van tonight. I never get it on a Sunday. That's because you never had the van. Matt. I'm not going straight home. I'm going round right to Natalia's house. It's all right. Drop me off on Fullborn Road. If I ain't got me spare helmet. I trust you. That's not what I'm talking about. I could get a fine. It's dark. I will notice. Famous last words. You're going to make me walk all the way home. Well, why not? You walked all the way here. Yeah, I see how you was getting on. Look, I'll tell you what. If it makes you feel any better, I'll wear this. A West Indian seat? <laughs> it's dark, I'm telling you. If we get pulled, I didn't know you were there. Right? Right. Just popping out, Mum. This time of night? What for? Oh, a quick scout round. See if that car of mine puts in an appearance. You never know. But you've reported it to the police. Why don't you leave it to them? Because they're leaving it to me. They were around here yesterday, asking if I'd found it. Who me? They were only checking up. By the time they find it, it'll be eligible for the London to Brighton. Put the chain on the door when I've gone. What are you up to, anyway? Sorting out a few things. Reading some of these forms the solicitor gave me. I found the marriage certificate. You asked about legal aid? Yeah. I'll get it if the case goes to court. Which is more than likely, seeing as we don't know where the old man's holding up. And he ain't exactly forthcoming with the reddies. Well, apparently, the DHSS can trace him through his national insurance records. Once that gets sorted out, we can get a court order to get some money from him. Yeah, and not before time, either. Cool. If I got my hands on him, that wouldn't solve anything, Barry. Land you in trouble again, that's all that'd do. Yeah, but let him know what I think of him. I'm sure he knows that already. I'd 
just wish we could sort this lot out between ourselves without all this court business. Look, you've had two months now to sort it out for yourself. And where's it got you? Nowhere. So do as the solicitor says. He knows what he's doing. He'll see you all right. I know. But I still don't like it. You've got no choice. Dead seen to that. So don't let it get to you, all right? I'll try. Right. Well, I'm off. Wish me luck. Remember? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Gordon. If Harley is not here, she's gone out. You don't know where to, I suppose. Some friend of hers. Can what I... friend? I've no idea. Now, if you don't mind, it's late. Yeah, well, I've just finished work, you see. And a Merry Christmas to you and all, mate. Officer, and that car over there, it's stolen. What car? Uh, Blue Capri. Belongs to mate mine's brother. He's reported it. What makes you think that's it? It is. I just know it. It's been seen around here before. Right, let's take a look. MP, active message. Sierra Foxtrot 1, pursuing stolen car west along Denmark Street. seen your car. Where? Oh, yeah. Rushmore Road, the cops went after it. And? I don't know, they went off down the road like the clappers. You better come in. By the time mates, they found the car. Yeah, I heard. I didn't say they got it. Well, it's good as, though. If cops on your tail that close, they don't give up. Hey, Bill. No, nah, they'll get them. If that car don't, another one will. They'll radio in. I'll give the local nickel, Bill. See what's up. Rushmore Road, you said? Yeah. That's near the Odeon, isn't it? Odeon? Closed a year ago, mate. Huh? Cool, blimey, I'm out of touch. Shane, had some good times there. Films weren't bad either. <laughs> Fancy them taking her out in broad daylight, huh? Must want their brains testing. You know it is, then? If we did, we wouldn't be standing here, would we? There's a gang of them, we know that. Well, Bill calls them the Blue Flash, you know, because of the car. Not him, the old Bill. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, hello, yeah. Uh, my name's Jenkins. All right. Where were you last night? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be at work. I'm on nights this week. Where were you? Oh, I am allowed to go out on my own if I want to, aren't I? You ain't answered my question. I was at Jill. My father said you called at some unearthly hour. He would. We don't all retire in a crypt as soon as darkness falls. I thought we'd go out for a drink or something. There was still time. Well, you didn't tell me, did you? I don't stay in every night waiting for you to come round. It was a last-minute thing. I just thought we could go out. What are you doing lunchtime? Playing squash. Who with? I mean, where? At the leisure centre. Why are you asking? Might come and watch. <laughs> what do you know about squash? I didn't say I was coming to watch the game. I know you from somewhere. Hendrick, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. And at the swimming pool. Could have been. Jim swims for Essex. Does he now? It's a slow way of getting there. I prefer to drive myself. Well, when you pass your test and get a car, you'll be able to, won't you? We'd better be going. Mm. See you here at five, okay? 
If you like. All right. Right on its tail, and they go and lose it? What happened to the high speed train, you know? It's supposed to help them deal with dust carts getting in the way. At least your car wasn't damaged. Yeah, this time. But while that mother still got it, there's every chance it will be. And if it is, well, it won't be the only thing that gets damaged. It's going to take more than a race break to mend the body that I'm thinking about. I've come to see if there's any news about my grant application. Your name's Jenkins, Peter. So what kind of grant have you applied for, Mr. Jenkins? To go on a printing course. I see. Discretion. Well, we'll keep you a moment. <clears throat> Nothing under Jenkins on my files. Have you tried room 147? No, they sent me straight here. Don't tell me you've lost me before. Try room 147. It might be there if you applied it in the last three months. Now you go out of this door, up the stairs, and into the far end of the corridor. If it hasn't been moved somewhere else. I can't think why she sent you here. We handle payments. You haven't appealed, have you? It's starting to feel that way. Well, did you keep a copy of your application before, when you filled it out? No, I thought one would be enough. Well, it's always advisable to keep copies of things. Not the forms often go astray. But there's a 99% chance. I'm with you. Thanks for the tip. I'll bear that in mind when I'm applying for my next application form. In the meantime... Try room 139 on the second floor. If your form has been misplaced, it might turn up there. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Sorry, I'll bother coming here. Suck up! All right, E-man. How's he on you? How'd you get on at the grass office? No, no. How did you know I was there? Barry said. You been round our place? Yeah. Tell him I saw his car. Hey? Where? Oh, don't get excited. Reported it to the police. They went after it and lost it. But I'll find it sooner or later. If I had left those flaming keys in it, there wouldn't have been any of this. Don't start that again. It's not worth it. Look, Al, I've got a dash. I've got a class. Unless you want to sit through it and all. Me? Sit through it out there, but do me a favour. I'd rather not know what I'm missing. But before you go, what I came to see you about? Some news I had this morning from Vic. What news? He's found a buyer for my dad's business. Lime it. That must make him salesman of the year. <laughs> what mug's bought that? I don't know. I don't care. But he says there might be some cash left over. After it's all settled up. A couple of hundred, he reckons. Can't be bad. So it's Devon here I come, eh? Looks like it. Might go next week. No point hanging about now. All right. All the best, mate. I'm glad to see things are looking up for you at last. It's a bad sign. Thanks. But I'll see you before I go. Gotta have a farewell pint. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Gotta give you a send-off. We did, Tommy. <laughs> we certainly did. But you won't get me like that. I'll settle for a nice bright drink somewhere. Would arrange something. I'll see you later. Don't work too hard. <laughs> no danger. Natalia and I will play uh, on the exhibition court, if that's okay with you two. What are you gonna be exhibiting? Oh, shut up, you! <laughs> Morning. Better get started then. Look, I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for because I'm afraid I'm not very good. Oh, that's what they all say. I've played girls in the mix, all those drop shots. But come on, in you go. I bet you'll have me running all over the place. Not this girl.
Oh, you're early. Got the teacher throw you out. You see that mate of yours? Alan. Yeah. Oh, he told you what happened then? What? With the car. Oh, that, yeah, he did mention something. Carl, what's up with you? Nothing. Here, have a look at this. I've been working it out. Here's where the gang have been operating, right? And here's where we are. Well, look at it. Hey. Both areas are near the motorway, right? Which makes it easy to get from one to the other. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. They must be using round here as a base, pulling jobs up and down the motorway, then scarpering back. Which means the car's probably holed up in some lock-up or something. Well, it's feasible. Yeah, but there's a lot of them about. A hell of a lot. We can get round them if we're systematic. Well, nights will be the best time when they're going in and out. It's a long shot, I know. I work nights, remember? Oh, this week, anyway. Now, that's all right. You do your bit checking the cars that come in for petrol. Well, I'll sort out a street patrol with me mates. We'll manage. Put me down for next week. With luck, it could be over and done with by then. Anyway. Well. Well, it could be nasty if we do bump into them. I can't see them just handing it over. Well, it could be nasty if I spot them at the filling station. Because I'm not just going to sit there and let them drive away. You can't tackle them on your own, you maniac. What do you expect me to do? You stay in that kiosk, Tucker, you hear? A description's all I need. I'll take it from there. No heroics. Listen. I lost that car, right? If I see it out there on the full call, I'm going after it. And by the time I'm finished, whoever's got it, the description won't be much good to you, because it'll be unrecognisable. Blimey, you're keen. Tell you I've passed. That's me all over. Too keen by half. You just missed his lordship. Came in and emptied the till. There's only float left in there. For sure? No. Nope. Maybe he is. Leave it on the side. They'll get it later. Mind if I go? No, go on. Cheers. Sleep tight. Yeah, sir. around him, didn't it? No, it didn't. Look, look, can I come in? Why? I want to talk. About what? Us. Us. It's over, isn't it? Okay. So how do you want to leave it? I don't know, but not like this. Okay. I'm listening. I don't know what to say now. I've met you. I've noticed. See so you're dumping me. No, Tucker, it's not like that. Okay, I'll put it another way. You're phasing me out and phasing them in. Is that better? It's not easy, this. How would you go about it? I'm sure you've had plenty of practice. Not with someone I care about. Well, I care about you, Tucker. I do. Yeah. Well, now you're feeling sorry for yourself. Well, how am I meant to feel? Over the moon? I thought we something going for us. We had, but things change. We change. I didn't want anything serious. Not yet. Evening all. Come at a bad time, have I? No. 
She's just going. Am I? Well, there's nothing more to be said. You're not having a row. No. We're breaking up. Nice and civilised. Her idea. Not mine. Eh? Go on, blame me. You know Parson it, Tucky. You're perfection itself. Hey, look. look, keep out of this. Go have a bounty. What's that supposed to mean? Leave it, Tucker. No, come on. She's referring to coconuts. I thought I knew you. You do? Do I? Look, I'm sorry, Tucker, but I haven't time to sort out your personality problems. I'm going home. Why didn't you say anything? She was your girlfriend. Yeah. Was. They say love's blind, don't they? Would it have made any difference? Yeah, it would. In the long run. Ah. Now there's a man I've been waiting to see. On the night shift, that door's supposed to remain locked. First thing first. Is this what you came looking for? Where'd you get that? You dropped it. And yourself right in it. Made very interesting reading. You had no business with... Shouldn't I? I see you left the 90 quid float in the till earlier on. Yeah. Only you didn't, did you? It was a tenner short. I counted it. That's lies. It was all there, every single penny. No, it wasn't, and you know it. The others ain't sussed you out, but I have. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Go to the police. And land myself in it for moonlighting. You think you've got it all worked out, don't you? Only you ain't. Give me that book. Get, Get off! Get in there, you slag! Let me go! Get in there! No, don't please! Oh, I can talk about it! A little bit. And if you really want a surprise.